Hey, good morning, Randy. This is going to be a demo video for you for the 20 uh, Golf Master chassis that you had me do for the KR Sabres Graflex. So as some people were asking, so I'll just mention it now, you have the Wanawanga grips, uh, the clamp cars and stuff that you'll be offering. You just sent me the Sabres and the chassis to do the actual install. So that is what I've got here. Um, of the 20 that you sent me, I've got 19 of them done. Uh, the 20th one is just waiting on a motor that I needed to swap out. Uh, sometimes during testing, they'll be fine. If you test them again, there will be times where they have a little bit of a whining. This one was pretty loud, so I wanted to go ahead and swap it out. Uh, I actually ended up swapping out five or six of them, uh, and, but I was one short. So got that one coming today. I'll send you a short video of it working. But we'll go over the 19 of them that are done. We'll go over this one in detail. Um, and then I'll just move the camera over to uh, on top of my desk, like a bird's eye view of my desk, so that I could fire up the other 18 and you can see that they're working. All right, We won't really go into detail about them. Uh, but they're all two-button setups. So the top button here is going to be power. The uh, slide switch is not a slide switch. It's actually a plunger. So you just press it. That's going to be auxiliary. All right. Uh, your blade retention screw can be this guy right here. All right, they've all got uh, Carl Chen V4 NeoPixel connectors in there. So these all light up. My camera doesn't want to focus on that, but that's all right. To get to the actual chassis, what you want to do is come over here and flip this guy up. You will want to make sure though, and I will go over this real quick. This clamp right here, you want this pretty tight. So when you take this guy and you flip this down to lock everything in, you want that to be a pretty sturdy connection so that this doesn't wobble around, all right? This handle doesn't move around. But anyway, flip this up, grab your handle, kind of push forward just a bit, and then turn counterclockwise, and then pull the handle straight out. You want to make sure that you're kind of maybe doing it over a table or something because uh, you don't want the chassis to fall out because it just slides out just like that. It's only held in by this, this much length inside of this guy so what you've got inside of here is you've got that stock rotary pcb uh, that's connected to a small chassis inside of the core and of course it's got you know your blade connector on the other side all right so we'll put that off to the side and this is the chassis so very nice chassis very easy to work on um, it's a beautiful piece it has its own crystal as you can see right here you can take this door off right here it's on magnets when you take that off that you access your profi board and it's the same on all of them so the profi board is that he's down to the shelf but you've got sd card and usb access from right here all right and when you don't want to get to the board you can just clip that door on and that stays on like that the battery compartment is also on a hinge so it opens up like that it's got a single magnet right here towards the top that holds that door closed so when you close it you know it stays closed let me get a pair of tweezers real quick because each of these chassis have two switches on them so that you can operate them outside of the saber but i do find that i need a pair of tweezers to get at them all right uh, if you look closely right here if i can focus in you've got a tactile switch right there and if you go 180 degrees from that uh, you have another tactile switch right there all right, and you've got your stock rotary PCB with the pins. It's going to be the same on all of them. You've got a 10 pixel accent strip located under here. You've got another 10 pixel accent strip located under here. This also, this round piece right here has some diffusion underneath it, but it has some shine through as well, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, moving down here, like I said, you've got that crystal chamber and it's got a rotating plasma gate right here so you'll see that fire up um, over here right here in the middle you have your kill switch but then you have uh, some diffusion right under here and under here this all has shine through as well and that's consistent on every chassis they're all set up the same all right you've got a 28 millimeter speaker that you provided they all have your uh, 18650 battery in them but they are brand new so you sent me these batteries brand new I did not charge them up I just threw them into the chassis you're going to want to take those out perhaps and charge them up or whoever buys this know that that battery is going to need a full charge all right so 
what else do we got that's pretty much it we can go ahead and come over here and we can flip our kill switch right here with our finger got it. I, got it. I have chosen to use a uh, kyberphonics a and h sound font to program on all of these on all of these the same so i could test them um, so that's the sound font that you're going to hear if you don't have a thing going on with Jesse, let me know. I, I will uh, take that off and put it on with something else. I'll put something else on, rather. They all had the same config. Uh, let me turn this off while I'm talking about it because it is on a timer. They all have the same config. That config is located on the SD card of every single one of these savers, so you don't have to figure out which one has it. All right, and it's it's labeled pretty easily. You can see what's going on. So again, we'll flip this on. You hear a lot of common scoring. It looks like you boys see a lot of action. If you look over here in the front first, you can see your two LED strips going in unison. And then you can see you've got some separate shine through right here. Your crystal is pulsing. And then you've got some shine through here in the back behind the diffusion as well. All right, until we come over here. What is it? My father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. That is the auxiliary button. And here's the power. So now you've got you got your crystal chamber rotating. The LEDs do go a little bit more aggressive when the saber is on, on the front and the back. And then you've got twist off like that as well. All right. So when putting this in the chassis, you can put it, or in the saber, you can put it in however you like. All right. I'm just going to put it in like that. Come over here and put my handle on. Get that J-Lock system nice and locked down. And then come over here and lock everything down with that. Now we can hit power from here. So now your, LED, your blade connector is all lit up. Auxiliary is over here. I gave you a pretty generic code that I use for the motor. Um, you can mess with the white value in that if you want it to go faster or if you want it to go slower. Um, I put it at a pretty medium spin, all right, which is something that I do for all my builds, but very easy to uh, change if that's something that you want to do. But again, auxiliary here. What is it? My father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Power. <laughs> Oops. And you've got twist off right there. So now what I'm going to do, we'll break this back down real quick and just turn it off. Take this handle off. You can take the chassis out with the handle if it makes you more comfortable. All right. And then just come over here and flip the kill switch and that kills power. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll go over to my desk and I'll just fire all these up one by one. We won't talk about it too much. I just kind of want to show you that everything works. And then I will get all of these packaged up and let you know how much they weigh. All right. Thanks, Randy. All right. I know I don't have them all in, in the uh, camera frame. It's a little bit hard. There's so many of them, but I've got them pretty much all stacked right here. We'll just go through and pick them up one by one. And I just kind of wanted to show you that they all work. All right. So flip this up. I'm making this video before I make the intro to the demo, but I'm sure I will go through all of this. But when you take the handle off, you know, you pull your chassis out. We'll flip the kill switch here, which is located right here. This is red five. I'm going in. So everything is good there. I'm just going to kind of hold them in here for now and hit power. All right, auxiliary. What is it? My father's lightsaber. Take this out, turn it off right here. So that one was working. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for all the others. And then when you just put that in there, slide this on. And I'll do that for pretty much all of them, right? So twist and lock, lock it down. Put this over here and we'll, we'll just keep on going down the row. Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. You will.
will want to make sure that this clamp is tight so that when you lock this pin down, it holds this handle in place because when you'll notice you've got a little bit of play there, but you want this handle locked down and that holding it tight. All right, so there we go. You can call me Luke. I see, sir, Luke. <laughs> not just Luke. I guess you want to see, I'm not showing these. Sometimes you'll get these little flanges that are bent out. Just press them. They'll go in. Lock it down. Careful when you take the handle off. You don't want the chassis falling out. So kind of do it exactly how I'm doing it. Over a table first of all. But flip that switch. Got it! There's usually just one. Jay locked it in there. Red five standing by. Test. This is Red Five. I'm going in. Kill switch. You can call me Luke. I see some Luke. <laughs> Not just Luke. Flip this off here. It's a little dark in my office, so I just had to make sure that one was off. This one. See, like that, so just be careful. Slide out like that. I need Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. Force and become a Jedi like my father. 
been scoring here. Looks like you boys have seen a lot of action. We've got these I'll bring forward. We've got six, seven, seven more to show. And that kill switch right there. Standing by. We got this one and two more left. Flip it. And last one. That is 19 of them. Like I said, I will show, send you a short video on the 20th one, uh, which I just need to replace a motor on because I didn't like how loud it was. But uh, that just takes about 15 minutes for me to do. And I'm going to get the rest of these packaged up today. And I uh, really appreciate you sending them my way. Thanks.